No? No. The project I did for my English paper was uh, tattooing. I went to Grand Rapids, Michi Michigan to a place called Tattoo U to do an interview with a man named Randy. Um, out of four people that I called to do interviews, he was the only one willing to do so. Um, I think you'll find when watching this interview that he's really hard to understand. There's music going on in the background, and plus he doesn't uh, talk very loud, so you're going to have to listen up. I hope you enjoy this portion of the presentation. Dyed 
poured into you? Is it? No, we dipped the tip of the gun into the bag in this reservoir here above it. And it's just gravity fed in the skin. Are the designs, uh, um, like, I, I, I wonder the assumption that, like, you had, like, a design to work with when it's first applied, um, like an outline. Oh, of yeah, definitely. Anybody that says they can just sit down freehand and can't do it's nuts. Because you're not working with any racers, you know. Um, anybody that would try to do that would be foolish. How, how, does, how does that uh, design? We use uh, acetate templates that we engraved the designs on, which leaves the outline on the skin for us to follow. Um, really describe the steps you take when you're applying some a tattoo to someone. You just draw a tattoo on them. Uh, apply the template which needs the outline and we do the outline first and the shading and then we color it. Um, why do you think people get tattooed? Because they want them. Um, any particular reason? Um, I imagine everybody's got their own personal reason. Um, why is your work important? Why is it important? Why is it important for you to do to be a tattoo artist? Because I enjoy the gratification I got of doing a good job. It's a good thing to work. Okay. Um, if you had to do it over, would you still choose a career of a tattoo artist? Oh, definitely. Um, any closing thoughts you have on the on the art itself? Uh, no, I would recommend if anybody wanted to get a tattoo that they went to somebody professional and seen the work before they got done by do you recommend uh, flash designs or custom work? Yeah, it's up to the individual's personal taste. You know. What I might like and recommend, the next guy might, might not like and not recommend. It's totally up to the individual's taste. Okay. And we give them whatever they want. Anything else you'd like to add? That's about it. Okay. Push the red button. Push the red button. Randy wasn't much of a public speaker. What I'm going to do for you now is I'm going to throw together a video clip for you um, from a show called Signatures of the Soul. I'm going to use my own music, but I'm going to kind of give you a feel of what it looks like inside a tattoo parlor. And also I want to show you uh, some full body murals. They're pretty amazing. something up about uh, tattooing too. But in the meantime, let's listen to some rock and roll. I wanted to follow this coal show and I couldn't. There was nothing I could do. Couldn't do anything. 
and this woman, uh, she got fired in Bluefield, West Virginia, 30 miles from my home, and she heard my story. I wanted to go to the circus, and I was crippled, and she took me under her wing, and in three days, she had a stove poker down my throat. I could swallow so And I started out $75 a week, three meals a day, in a stateroom on a circus train. My uncle, like a bloatish attack. Oh, my God. All right, we played in Auburn, Virginia, and was in there four days. Passed this tattoo shop on uh, East Main, Cap Cove. And I didn't know nothing about tattooing. We had a drunken tattooer on our place. So I said, I'm going to go in there and look at his pictures. You're not going to get tattooed. I said, never in this world. No. I'm a sword swallower. Fifteen years old. Crippled. They took me in there, and I saw one putting an eagle on a sailor's back. I knew I could draw a better eagle than that. And I got an old piece of paper off in the desk over in the corner. I said, can I borrow see this paper? Yeah, go right ahead. A cigarette hanging in his mouth and those yeah. old big black heavy tattoos on him. I drew an eagle. And he said, how did you learn to do that? And I told him, I said, I would pick it up. Do you ever think about doing this? And no. Next day I went down there and stayed three hours with him.